Are you able to record high quality professional vocals on your iPhone? I'm not sure, but let's find out. Hey, my name is Jason Ashelman. I'm a full-time audio engineer and producer, and I carry one of these around every day. It's a little broken, but it still works. I use my cell phone all the time to record short voice memos or melody, lyric ideas, or short videos just to like capture creative ideas, but I never have used it as a professional tool. And I've always been curious if you could get usable, high quality professional audio right off of your cell phone. I'm making this video strictly out of my own curiosity and I hope that it is helpful and informational for you as well. So I'm gonna be comparing this iPhone 12 Pro to a professional vocal mic. I'll be using the SM7B and a cloud lifter. And for a preamp, I'll be using the Focusrite Claret 8 Pre-X. And for the iPhone, I'm gonna be recording straight into the Voice Memos app. There's a handful of mics on here, I know, and I'm not sure which which one sounds the best. So I'm gonna record at different angles and see what sounds the best. This is me facing the screen of my phone, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So to me, the bottom mic sounds the best, probably because that's the one that is used the most when you're on the phone, but that sounded the cleanest to me. I also just realized you can actually record in 24-bit on your iPhone, so I went in voice memo settings and turned on lossless audio. Now I'm gonna set up the SM7 and the iPhone, and we're gonna record vocals into both of them and see what happens. Hopping into Logic, I have four takes. I have two SM7B takes two iPhone takes. My initial thoughts before we take a listen is that the iPhone is doing some processing on the inside while it's recording. The reason I feel that way is if you look here at the beginning uh, of the SM7B takes into the chorus, we got this verse and then we got this chorus. You can tell it's very dynamically different. Same here, second verse, second chorus. And the iPhone is just like loud. <laughs> and then the chorus happens and it's just as loud. I feel like it's doing some limiting, maybe some compressing, something just to control the dynamics. Coming out of the iPhone, it's definitely not raw. So I'm gonna tune a portion of these and then we're gonna listen to them uh, raw with no uh, effects besides tuning. And it looks like there's a lot of noise going on here too. So I'm, I'm interested to hear how much like room noise there is. So I comped and tuned both tracks and here's what the raw SM7 sounds like. Memory swim hazily like a deep sea diver. And here's what the iPhone sounds like. The signals light on my mistakes like a midnight driver. So this is strange. The iPhone it sounds okay, it sounds good. There is top end difference. The iPhone is harsher, more aggressive in the top end. And then there's also some phase issues, which um, caught me off guard initially. But now that I think about it, it's, it's not surprising. There's a microphone here at the bottom, there's one in the front here, and then um, I believe there's another one here by the, uh, by the uh, speaker at the top. So that is a point not in the iPhone's favor, I will say. I'm going to start building out a vocal chain. I'm going to start with the SM7, get a good tone, and then try to match it with the iPhone. We'll see what happens. Memory swim hazily like a deep sea diver. Memory swim hazily like a deep sea diver. So I'm pretty happy with it. There's some weird stuff, but I did this in like three minutes. So let's do the iPhone. Let's see where we get with that. The signals light on my mistakes like a midnight driver. The signals light on my mistakes like a midnight driver. So I'm actually very, very impressed with how the iPhone sounds. The obvious, like, high-end, phasey things, uh, metallic sound that it has, uh, that's its big downside, but it actually doesn't sound terrible. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the iPhone. But context is super important. So I want to listen to the vocals with the song and kind of switch back and forth between the iPhone and the SM7 just to kind of compare it like in context of the song. The open road seems so inviting Always leaves me wanting more 
When GPS leads me in circles Back to who I was before And got a big mouth Settle down The future's now in waiting and Got some big plans And lots of den This highway's ours for taking Roll the windows down And turn the radio up Singing Friday Processed and in context, they sound really similar. So the iPhone sounds really good. I'm very impressed with the performance and what the results were. They do have their distinct differences, don't get me wrong. So this is all just my opinion, but what this comparison showed me is that the quality or the dollar amount of the microphone doesn't matter near as much as the ear or the person processing that signal. Depending on the song, depending on the context or where you're listening to it at on your phone or in the car, I don't know if I could tell a difference between them. You can spend a lot of money on recording equipment, but if you don't know how to use it, the result is still not gonna sound professional. If you were to go out and buy the SM7, the Cloudlifter, and the Claret, this is the price tag for that. And the iPhone, you probably already have one in your pocket. And to me as a professional, it is worth it to invest that type of money into high quality recording equipment. This comparison has actually really inspired me to just use the tools that I have available to me, like my cell phone, and not hold off and wait to get into the studio to record an idea. If I'm able to record vocals that sound like that anywhere, I'm definitely going to do it. I hope this has been inspiring and encouraging to you to use the equipment that you have available. I know if I can make an iPhone sound half decent, I know you can too. If you've ever tried to use your iPhone as a professional mic, let me know down in the comments below. I had a ton of fun making this video. It's always fun to learn new things. Feel free to subscribe for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next one.